what is up youtube.com it is your boy me um so i've been working on my video game a little bit and it's kind of gone through many iterations uh this says rts 14 but i have a lot more um builds in that but that's just when i decided i should start uh saving was after a bunch of work was done um so kind of where i'm at i just wanted to kind of make an update video real quick for the for the video game with chat gpt and um it's kind of turned from uh, ChatGPT building the game for me to me having ChatGPT teach me how to do Python and Pygame or whatever. So it was able to build me like a basic game like you could see from the video. Um, I was able to get ChatGPT to spit out um, exact lines of code to fix and um, to do everything in that last version for me. But now it's kind of like I am working with ChatGPT and we are developing it together and it's teaching me about different little things like um, if statements global variables um game loop or whatever boolean i don't know like i'm still super new and like i can't think of any of the terms and i still really struggle like every step for me takes like 10 years but uh i'm getting there and i'm working it whatever chat is teaching me so it's not like i thought it was gonna be more um i thought it was gonna be more like easier but now it's kind of just like slowly transitioning into me just learning how to <laughs> code in Python myself for Pygame, which is kind of cool, but it's really slow. Um, so I let's just uh, hop right into the game, I guess, and I'll kind of try to remember different differences that happen. So first thing I want to note is that our base now, we can select base, and we have a button in the bottom right here where we can produce workers, or if we can press P to get a hotkey, we get workers, which is just another melee units right now. Um, they have the same stats as melee unit, um, but they have another function as well. They are able to build buildings. So if I press B and right click here, I can build a barracks. Or the other structure is if I press C and then press C here, it'll build a charcoal factory. And it's not producing charcoal right now. I'll kind of get into that in a second here, but I just need some troops to defend my base because red's going to kill all my, my guys if I don't um, build troops and defend myself here. Um, so we have a main base, which is producing workers, and then we have a barracks, which will produce a melee unit and a range unit, and then we have a charcoal facility, and then kind of what's going on here is that we have, like, little nodes on the map here. These little green ones, um, are, are, are forests, so there's that, and then there is, if I can find any, we have white ones here that are our, um, or, or these are all just placeholders so far and then the black is just obstacles that i haven't really messed with because it's supposed to be an environment for the map but since i blew the map up um it's made them more sporadic and not really actually environment uh useful environment but uh functions functions so yeah so we have more of a game coming together uh so what else do we got we got you know troops Rangers, whatever. We can move them around. We have collision. We have buildings. We have uh, a HUD. We have a HUD with a mini map. Bottom right, that's where our action bar is going to be for when we select uh, buildings or we select units or whatever. I want to have like uh, commands you can have down here. Kind of just information so that, you know, like other RTSs to tell you what to do. Tell you what you can do with whatever you select. And then in the middle here where I am, I'm going to have like information. And then um, top right here, we have our resources, which is going to be ore or whatever. And then charcoal. So then the idea here is that, well, my friend said I had to use charcoal for a uh, tech, for a second resource. And essentially how charcoal is going to work is the story is like this is in a futuristic setting where there's no more fossil fuels left in the earth. So then humanity has to use charcoal and other things like it um, to tech up, like because we use coal and all that energy stuff to run plants to refine everything. But we don't have that anymore. So then kind of we're kind of stuck with uh, charcoal or whatever. Whatever. I love charcoal, so I just wanted to write it into the story. But anyway, so we have charcoal facilities here. And essentially how it works right now is that you, like, um, build. Um, you build a charcoal facility near, boom, and then it'll consume a charcoal spot to within range, I believe. This might not be close enough, but it's supposed to consume it and then it just increases your charcoal supply. How it's going to work in the future is that there's going to be uh, lots of biomass on the map, like forests and stuff like that. And then you'll send your workers to go grab it and then bring it back to the bio uh, or the refinery where you have to have a bunch of workers sitting inside of it to um, gain 
increased charcoal or something along the lines of that. Something something like that. I haven't quite decided everything yet. And then the other thing we have is um, resource nodes. And if I click this guy here, he'll go and pick up, he'll go and mine resources and then uh, automatically trace back to your home base or whatever. I'm going to try to put that in so that it tries to find the closest um, base to deliver ore or minerals to or whatever you want to call it. Um, so as you can see here, he's going to get there and he's going to hit it and then he's going to immediately go back. So the uh, AI is kind of working, but I just don't have the the lines correct, the code correct to uh, increase my resources when he deposits it. So then another thing I have is um, shift clicking. So like to, you know, like when you're spawning troops here and you're, you know, you're working over here. Oh yeah, it's because it's clicking on the base. So that's a bug. So I already found a bug. So you can't create a uh, select triangle, rectangle. Sorry, there's so much going on. This is going to be a bad video. I'm sorry, everybody. But, um, you know, you, you move like this and then you're trying to go do something else. You know what I mean? So there's this thing called shift clicking, like in uh, this game of StarCraft I play. And essentially, and if anybody plays any RTSs, you're going to know what this is. And it's essentially you queue up commands for your troop. So let's say you're clicking here, you're going here. And this line here is so that I could figure out because I had messed, uh, I'd broken. When I made the map bigger, the, the camera, it wasn't drawing correctly. And everything, nothing lined up or whatever. So I had to like put these lines in to see if my coordinates were correct. It was like a debugging tool. Sorry. So anyway, so you click here and then um, shift clicking is where you queue up commands. So I could click here and then have him come here and then come down and then come here. As long as he doesn't collide with anything, he'll just uh, finish my commands. And I can go over here and then go this way. So you could like set up, I don't know, you can just use it to like army manage and then come back here in macro. Um, and then you can come back here and then have them command up and then have them meet each other, go around ob obstacles or to, you know, I don't know. Shift clicking just allows you for more mechanics. Um, like if you wanted to go around an obstacle, that that's like what I'm thinking here. So instead of going through, you can go boom, boom, boom. And I think these guys will collide so they'll, some of them will stop. Or no, no, that's awesome. So yeah, that's, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. That's really cool. So then, uh, I think that's it. There's a lot. I have a big list of things I'm going to work on here, but that's kind of where we're at now. But um, there's a lot of work to do. So that's just kind of my little update here. And some guy, I don't know. Kill the building, you win the game. So that's it. So that's my little game. Um, pretty deep into this one and when i was watching these tutorials whatever you're supposed to like split your code up in different files so it's more manageable but i'm a silly billy and i have messed up quite a bit but i'm just going to keep plugging away and see how far i can take the game and uh hopefully i'll have an update for this in a few days or a week or something like that and uh, thanks for watching i'll catch you later hopefully i didn't forget anything but you never know yeah bye bye